The choices that Twitter makes when it chooses to suppress, edit, blacklist, shadow, ban are editorial decisions, pure and simple. They're editorial decisions. In those moments, Twitter ceases to be a neutral public platform, and they become an editor with a viewpoint. And I think we can say that about others also, whether you're looking at Google, whether you're looking at Facebook, and perhaps others. One egregious example is when they try to silence views that they disagree with by selectively applying a fact check, fact check, F-A-C-T, fact check. What they choose to fact check and what they choose to ignore or even promote is nothing more than a political activism group or political activism. And it's inappropriate. You look at what's happened, you look at where they're going, where they're coming from. I think you all see it yourselves. This censorship and bias is a threat to freedom itself.